Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand and remove your hats for the presentation of the colors by the Fargo Public Schools Air Force Junior ROTC under the direction of Colonel Stephen Muse. The color guard team is commanded by Cadet Jager Jensen, accompanied by Cadet Daniel Kreps, Cadet Jesse Kreps, and Cadet Joseph Kreps. The national anthem will be sung by the Fargo South Concert Choir under the direction of Mrs. Sarah Lakeblau. Ladies and gentlemen, class of 2019, you may be seated. Families, friends, and fellow graduates, welcome to today's graduation ceremony honoring Fargo South High School's Class of 2019. My name is Drew Brown, and I will be your Master of Ceremonies for today's celebration. While attending Fargo South, I had the amazing opportunity to be involved in DECA, BAN, Tennis, Student Council, National Honor Society, and many more. Next year, I plan on attending Minnesota State University, Mankato, to double major in Business Administration and Marketing and minor in Communication Studies. Today is June 2nd, 2019, the day we will remember as the day we graduated from Fargo South High School. We have our families, friends, and educators to thank for the tremendous amount of support and for pushing us to be the successful individuals we hope to be in the future. As I look around at the class of 2019, I couldn't be more proud of how far we've came in the past 13 years. I see the faces of athletes, doctors, lawyers, educators, musicians, the list could go on. But along with all of our diversity, we all have one thing in common. And today, that's being able to celebrate our hard work over the past 13 years. Each individual in this class of 2019 has been on their own path faced with many obstacles that have shaped them into the strong individual they are today. 
It was only 13 years ago that many of us were preparing for the first day of elementary school at Clara Barton Hawthorne, Lewis and Clark, Lincoln, or Jefferson. Those were simpler times where we didn't have to worry about AP tests or scholarship deadlines, only about if we were playing with a parachute in gym class or if our best friend was ordering hot lunch or cold lunch. Six years later, we entered middle school. Middle school was a place that students were now split up and forced to make new friends. For some of us, those friends would last a lifetime. Middle school was a time where we missed recess, but also were happy that we now got the freedom to sit at the lunch tables with our new friends. Some of us might agree that middle school was the worst based off the physical changes that we had to suffer through, but now we can all look back at it and be happy that we didn't have to go through it alone. After middle school, we entered a place that we were all eager to get to, Fargo South High School. Fargo South was a place our eyes were opened up to new opportunities academically and socially. For some of us, we were nervous about getting lost in the halls, the homework being too hard, or just roaming the same halls as the senior class. Through the years, we found out those worries were really things we didn't have to worry about after all. Today, we can all say that we were part of the tradition at Fargo South and have left a legacy that will be held far in the future. Class of 2019, today marks the end of this chapter, but most importantly, a beginning of a new journey. Class of 2019, today is the day we get a start to our bright futures and the start of being able to fulfill our dreams. At this time, I would like to introduce to you our first speaker today, Blaze Remen. Blaze has been able to shine in the music and drama departments during his four years at Fargo South, being involved in theater, choir, and improv. Next year, Blaze will be attending the University of North Dakota to major in psychology with a focus in pre-medicine. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Blaze Remen. Thank you, Drew. Good evening, Bruins, class of 2019. We've finally made it. After all the blood, sweat, and tears we've had to endure over these past four years, we're finally graduating. Today is a day of success. Throughout our time in high school, we've had to face many trials in order to feel successful, like getting a good ACT score, or cramming to get a passing grade for the class on our finals, or hoping that every MC session would help us get one step closer to a top score of five on the AP tests. And that was just academics. Then we had to worry about our extracurriculars. The early morning swimming practices, the never-ending musical rehearsals, or even body conditioning throughout the year just to get in shape for EDC. Don't forget about recycling bottles and cans for Environmental Club, volunteering in community service for Key Club, and baking those delicious cookies in Cooking Club. As tiring and stressful everything has been, it has all paid off. We've amounted to various successes in each facet of our high school careers, but what is next? I come today posing one question to everyone here. What is success? To many, this is an easy question. For me, not quite, so I took the initiative to look up the definition of success on the World Wide Web. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, success is the attainment of wealth, favor, or eminence. This website is telling me that in order to be successful, I have to be rich, popular, or superior to the average person. Can you believe that? I was shocked when I read this. All throughout high school, our teachers have taught us to strive for excellence, to do our best, and to be proud of what we have accomplished. I wholeheartedly believe in these ideals, and therefore I've been proud of every single accomplishment we have made. So what? I didn't get an A on that math test. I still got a high B. Who cares if I wasn't caught being a Bruin? I'm still a Bruin. This perfect ideal of success is nothing compared to what we were taught at South High. After my surprise, I clicked out of Merriam-Webster and set in to search for contradicting opinions on what success really meant. I began to listen to a bunch of TED Talks, podcasts, and even audiobooks. Then I searched for advice from some of the most successful people in our world. To Steve Jobs, founder of Apple, success was found through doing what you love, creating an impact on the world, 
and making connections. To Oprah Winfrey, TV personality and American icon. Success is achieved by prioritizing self-care and maximizing one's unique talents and abilities. To Walt Disney, pioneer of the American animation industry. Success was found through dreaming and believing. Throughout his life, he believed that if you had enough courage and willpower, any dream can become a reality. All of these definitions of success have one thing in common. It is up to oneself to create their own recipe for success. Success is not merely defined through money, fame, and power, but through our own virtues. You could have all the money in the world and still feel unhappy. You could be the most popular person and still feel unloved. You could be the most powerful and still feel unfulfilled. Success is not a one-size-fits-all. Success is what you make it. Everyone's definition is different. Maybe you want to build a family of your own, pursue a lofty career, connect with others, or plant a garden. Successes can be as simple as drinking more water, doing the laundry, or even striking up conversation with a complete stranger. As we step into the world, we have the power to decide what makes us happy and successful. At this time, I'd like to thank our teachers for always believing in us. Thank you to the Fargo South custodians, proctors, and SRO for providing a clean and safe place for us to learn. Thank you to the counselors and administrators for providing structure and guidance in our lives. Thank you to the lunchroom staff for always providing us with nutritious meals and those awesome cookies to help us get through the day. And lastly, thank you to our family and friends for supporting us on this special day and for always being there. Though this chapter is closing, another is opening. In your lives, how will you define success? Thank you. Thank you, Blaze. That was great. Our next speaker today will be Miss Brooklyn Klein. When Brooklyn arrived at South, she immediately took advantage of the opportunities lying right in front of her. Brooklyn has been heavily involved in basketball, softball, student council, National Honor Society, and Air Force Junior ROTC. Next year, Brooklyn will be attending North Dakota State University to obtain a degree in nursing. Brooklyn, it's all yours. Good job, Blaze. <laughs> Not sure how I'm gonna follow that, but I guess I'll start with good evening. I know you've said this earlier, but I'd also like to welcome everyone who came to join these graduates on this very special day. I'm not gonna lie and say it feels like yesterday that we were all little freshmen trying to find our way around Fargo South, but four years really seems like a stretch. It brings me back to when all the adults in my life used to say that time just flies by. As a child, you don't have that perspective on time, but now that we're graduating seniors, striving to be productive members of society, we know just how true that statement really is. However, time doesn't just fly by, it's utilized. Every second, we're doing something, something creative, productive, innovative. Maybe we're just relaxing, but that too is so, so important because I forgot what me time was after starting high school. Being involved in multiple varsity sports, school clubs, and getting homework done all while holding a part-time job kept me very busy. But I'm definitely not the only one. Each and every student amongst you today has worked just as hard or harder than I. That's because we're motivated, dedicated, hardworking, and much more. These students gave their best and always portrayed CLASS. CLASS is an acronym we use at Fargo South that stands for Character, Leadership, Attitude, Scholarship, and Service. 
After attending Fargo South for four years, I've yet to learn the bell schedule, and just when I think I have it figured out, so it's Wednesday. But all jokes aside, being a Bruin has taught me so much. It's allowed me to get to know both my teachers and peers on a more personal level, and I not only formed relationships that'll go beyond high school, I formed a new class, a new acronym. Compassionate. I truly believe that Fargo South has some of the most genuinely kind-hearted kids. Alex Smith said that Fargo South gives everyone the opportunity to be who they are. And that's amazing because it's not every day a person can feel confident and comfortable being themselves. Legacy. Whether it's for sports, music, theater, or something else, every graduate is leaving a legacy. And thanks to all of the opportunities provided at Fargo South, it's a positive, impactful legacy. Academics. South has some of the brightest students you'll ever meet. We have 51 students graduating with honors. Fargo South's AP test scores exceed both the state and national average. And our very own Malcolm Strand is a national merit finalist. To put that in perspective, he's one of only 7,500 students across the nation to receive this honor. Way to go. Success. In addition to me successfully splitting through my shirt as a result of public speaking, every individual today has gone above and beyond in at least one area. Our musical and theater groups are both excellent. As I already mentioned, academics are well stressed, and our sports teams have accumulated over 130 state championships. In addition to this, Many students hold jobs. I'd say that's some pretty measurable success. This leads me to my last word, significant. The class of 2019 has improved their skills significantly. They've put a significant amount of effort in and have all had a significant impact on the underclassmen, our school, and our community as a whole. Although this may be my interpretation, I acquired these influences from those around me, you, the students of Fargo South. This class has already achieved so much, and going forth, no matter what path you may choose, I believe each and every one of you will embrace the opportunities provided, and as this day comes to an end, you open the door leading to your future self. Good luck class of 2019 and thank you. Thanks Brooklyn. Now class of 2019, it's almost the time we have all been waiting for. And that's to get our diplomas and become graduates of Fargo South. As your name is called and you walk across the stage, I hope you all feel incredibly proud of yourselves and reflect on the past 13 years. Receiving your diploma is a moment you will truly value for the rest of your life. So without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce you to our school principal, Dr. Todd Birch. Thank you, Drew. Good evening and welcome. It's a pleasure to have you present today to celebrate the academic accomplishments by the graduating class of 2019. In 1967, South High opened the doors for the first time. Today we are celebrating the 51st class that has graduated from South High and continue to celebrate a tradition of excellence. Over the past four years, there have been many successes that have been achieved by the members of this class. Some individual, some team, some by the entire class, such as our class community service project known as Prank. People really appreciate nice kids. Congratulations to you all for striving for excellence. To start the school year, the administration challenged the seniors to be leaders and role models for the students of South High. I am proud to report that the members of this graduating class answer the call to show underclassmen 
what it means to be a Bruin and to do things the Bruin way. It is my honor to say thank you. Speaking of thanks, I express my thanks and gratitude to the parents, guardians, and family members for the encouragement and support provided to the graduates throughout the years of education and activity involvement. It has been our privilege to assist in the social and educational development of your sons and daughters. Another group of people that deserve recognition and many thanks are all the teachers. This includes the former elementary and middle school teachers, and most importantly, the teachers and staff of Fargo South High School. I especially want to acknowledge the faculty and staff of South High for their efforts and dedication to the class of 2019. At this time, I would ask the Fargo South, excuse me, Fargo South staff and teachers to please stand and be recognized as well as any elementary and middle school Bruin teachers for the class of 2019. Please stand to be recognized. As you heard, this is a class group. Graduates, my final message will ask you to do some math. As a former math teacher, it only seems appropriate that I return to my classroom roots. Here is your final high school math question. What number do you get when you add the digits of your graduating year? Pretty easy, the answer is 12. From now on, when you see or hear the number 12, I ask you to recall your high school graduation, accomplishments, and memories as a Bruin. Let's examine the number 12 in greater detail. As you know, 12 was made up of the numbers 1 and 2. The number 1 is prime and signifies a beginning. After today, you begin a new chapter in your life that does not include South High. For some, that sounds wonderful. For others, South High has been your family and go-to place for quite some time. Either way, all of you will begin a new journey. Moving to the number two. The number two implies balance. You've already experienced the concept of balance with the demands of school, homework, activities, work, and family, to name a few. The difference after today is that the balancing act on your time, studies, financial resources, relationships will be different as you transition into being responsible to manage your scale of life. Let's consider the number 12. It's been said that the number 12 is connected to purpose and inspiration, two very powerful and meaningful words. Do you know what inspires you? Do you know your purpose? By pursuing the answers to these questions will guide you into your future decisions and actions. A teacher's purpose is best summarized by author and teacher Dave Burgess. He states the following about teachers. We aren't just teaching facts to memorize or skills to learn. We're uplifting lives and helping students fulfill their human potential. We're shaping the mothers, fathers, world leaders, entrepreneurs, and artists of tomorrow. Anyone with the most rudimentary understanding of geometric progression, another math term, realizes that our students will influence and interact millions. It's a mighty purpose indeed. Class of 2019, or the number 12, it is time for you to identify and begin your purpose, inspire those around you, and do so with a sense of balance. Go be the mothers, the fathers, the world leaders, the entrepreneurs, and the artists of tomorrow. The faculty and staff look forward to your future good work. I will end my message with a quote from Peter Bowen. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm also not where I was. And in that is progress in every sense of the word. I'm proud of myself for where I am today. And I encourage all of you to be proud and be prideful of what you've accomplished up to this point, because I certainly am. Congratulations again, and always remember to strive for excellence and do so with Bruin class. At this time, 
It is my privilege to certify that the students in the Fargo South High class of 2019 that are about to receive their diplomas have met all the requirements that have been established by the Fargo Board of Education and the North Dakota Department of Public Instruction. Before I present the Bruin class of 2019 to Dr. Gandhi, it is my pleasure to say thank you to Dr. Gandhi for his leadership as a superintendent of Fargo Schools for the past year and also thank Fargo, Fargo Public School board members Brian Nelson and David Paulson for their service and for awarding diplomas. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to present the Bruin class of 2019 to Fargo Public School Superintendent Dr. Rupek Gandhi. Congratulations, graduates. On behalf of your parents, friends, teachers, administrators, and everyone else whose lives you've touched, let me be among the first to express how incredibly proud we are of your achievements. You have triumphed to overcome obstacles, demonstrated resiliency, and developed a will to meet all of your goals. That is no easy feat. I will always remember the class of 2019 and this year's graduation ceremony as it's a very special year for me for multiple reasons. First, you're the first graduating class during my tenure as superintendent of Fargo Public Schools. Although I don't know all of you personally, I know that I'll be able to look back on each of your successes and share how proud we are that you represent Fargo Public Schools. For those of you I have had that privilege to get to know personally, you will be my daily reminder to never underestimate the potential of students. Thank you for reminding those of us who are sitting on the stage, your peers, your family, why we support you. Secondly, this year is special for me because I sat in your seats two weeks ago. On May 11th, I had the opportunity to participate in my own commencement ceremony from graduate school, so I know how truly special this is. I know that today isn't just about the ceremony but it's about ce celebrating the culmination of hard work throughout your educational journey. It's about celebrating the relationships you've built. It's about celebrating the support that you've received. And it's about celebrating your independence as you embark on a next chapter in your life. I also know that as you sit in your chair, ready to receive your d diplomas, hearing me speak probably isn't your highest priority. So I promise I'm almost done. As you leave here and look back today on your accomplishments thus far, Never forget who you are. Know that you've already proven your potential, so now it's time to meet that potential. Additionally, please keep in mind that you're never alone. Today, you become a member of the Fargo South Alumni, an exclusive group that will always support one another and uphold standards of excellence that make our community gleam with pride. Your journey forward may not always be easy, but you've demonstrated the skill and the ability to overcome any obstacle thrown your way. Your future is also the future of Fargo South. I look forward to hearing about the many accolades you and your classmates will soon earn and take pride in calling you Fargo South Bruins. Remember to come back and visit, share your successes, and be role models to future Bruins. Thank you and congratulations. At this time with the first roll of the Bruin graduating class of 2019, please stand and make their way to the stage. As they do that, I would also like to know how many former Bruins that we do have in the house tonight. Would you please stand if you are a graduate of Fargo South? Please remain standing if you are a graduate of Fargo Public Schools, please stand up. Thank you. It's good to have you here. Megan Alexander. Haley Bach.
Carissa Bachmeyer. Elena Ball. Parker Burleson. Makaya Bashir. Cool Bassnet. Sophia Beal. Bree Bellamere. Madison Benson. Megan Biggerstaff. Cameron Biori. Laura Bolgreen. Gabriel Baravich. Elijah Brovel. Danica Brown. Drew Brown. Haley Brown. Camry Bruns. Tristan Byard. Laura Carlson. Noah Chapman. Shariana Clark. Yuki Coyle. Christian Crandall. Brendan Current. Evan Swickla. Jenna Dalby. Megan Denuser. Eric Darling. Bryson Davis Jones. Madeline Dennis. Jessa Dolan. Emma Dudley. Riley Eckert. Anthony Eckroth. Alexander Eschhorn. Cambria England. Kobe Feline. Mazabarakisa Fanny. Amber Finseth. Tessabel Flynn. Gavin Forder. Grace Fortier. Blake Frazee.
Jacob Freezy. Celie Fritz. Kaden Ganser. Princess Gala. Brandon Geiselhart. Targan Gensi. Christine Gary. Chloe Geyer. Kiara Goodman. Mia Grebovich. Jessica Green. Matea Green. Jacoby Grow. Corinna Grothman. Ashish Gurung. Callie Gutierrez. Diana Gui. Nathaniel Hagen. Tristan Hagen. Miana Hager. Grace Hahnemann. Zarin Hansen. Wyatt Hansen. Tristan Harvey. Ahmed Hassan. April Hout. Alyssa Henry. Daisy Harold. Brody Herrick. Brian Ho. Jelia Holmes. Laura Holston. Zachary Hoppy. Sarah Jabins. Emily Jackson. Drake Jacobson. Willa Ja. Sarah Jensen. Chance Johnson. Noah Johnson. Pierce Johnson. Samuel Johnson. 
Chelsea Johnson. Natalie Jones. Madison Jordal. Austin Yonke. Rebecca KZ. Naya Carl. Jalen Keller. Cody Keller Hughes. Aaron Klein. Brooklyn Klein. Paige Kozinski. Tyler Crone. Devin Larson. Molly Larson Rabadou. Elizabeth Lawson. Gunnar Lawson. David Lindbergh. Jalen Lindley. Elena Lingen. Jessica Livedahl. Cassandra Lopez. Clay Ludwig. Jennifer Luring. Bryce Lundgren. Therese Lusamba. Kier Mabor. Ali Mada. Kasila Magar. Molly Maliski. Yukon Wan. Dylan MacArthur. Molly McCord. Zamava McGill. Greta McLagan. Logan McNutt. Drew Meckley. Amber Merseth. Amara Miller. Bottle Monger. JC Moore. Carter Murrow. Chance Mugi Raniza.
Colton Nays. Garrett Nordeen. Sintish Sango. Alma Newark Keach. Matthew Olson. Isabel Overgard. Jada Persons. Jack Powers. Elizabeth Profke. Gavin Prince. Alexis Prisonzano. Lucas Quibell. Jordan Rye. Blaze Remen. Allison Rowe. Jemsey Ricehill. Annika Richardson. Nathaniel Roberts. Tanner Roberts. Maricela Romero. Connor Rosencrantz. Naren Sinyasi. Mackenzie Schroeder. Gage Schutz. Brady Sherritt. Blaze Sheik. Haley Sheik. Julius Showalter. Blake Sistad. Adam Scrovey. Dyson Slava. Alyssa Smallers. Alexander Smith. Gage Smith. Chad Steinke. Andrew Steiner. Malcolm Strand. Bawana Suba. Molly Sunbaum. Budi Tamang.
Colton Thomason. Austin Thompson. Jonah Van Camp. Hillary Verdier. Brittany Vosberg. Lucas Vosberg. Samuel Wagner. Benjamin Walker. Mackenzie Walls. Samuel Warnschulz. Hannah Weiler. Dawson Weisenberger. Samantha Wetch. Joseph Wilhelmy. Christopher Williams II. Lauren Wills. Blessing Yeah. Iraguha Yavet. Sandy Zukanovich. Ashley Zern. It is my honor to be one of the first to say congratulations to my fellow graduates of the class of 2019. We will now hear Benediction, an Irish blessing performed by the Fargo South Concert Choir under the direction of Mrs. Sarah Lickblau.
Our final speaker today is Brody Herrick. When Brody isn't studying for his AP exams, you can catch him playing hockey, football, and golf. Those three things is what he participated in over the past four years for sports. He has also been involved with DECA, Key Club, and Philanthropy and Youth. Next year, Brody will be attending the University of Arizona to major in pharmaceutical science. Brody, it's all yours. Well, uh, thanks, Drew. I suppose now is not the time to ask to go to the bathroom, so might as well get to it. We are Fargo South. We are 30, 24 athletic teams. We are 32 clubs. We are 200 individuals from more than 10 countries around the world, speaking 28 different languages, with over 100 teachers and staff. Most importantly, we are the class of 2019. We are a school of tradition. South officially opened its doors in the year 1967, over 50 years ago. Since then, thousands of students and teachers have left their mark on Fargo South. And even though we don't think about it, they have left their mark on us. Every time I walk towards the gym, I see the rows upon rows of past sports teams who have won a staggering 133 state championships and brought our school so much pride. I walk past the countless names of amazing people who have been honored by our school. And even though I only know a few of the names, such as Neil Fredenberg and Harold Sam Neese because of their football legacy, it shows me how deep Fargo South's roots are and why our school is so special. We are Fargo South. We are a school of diversity. As mentioned, our senior class alone represents over 10 countries. Our school has a wide variety of athletics and clubs that allow students to get involved with, in, which include DECA, Environmental Club, Key Club, and even Ultimate Frisbee. We are the only school in North Dakota to have brown and gold as our school colors. Go Bruins! <laughs> our school boasts the biggest variety of learning options, from basic core classes, almost 20 AP classes, four different languages, clay and sculpture, and living on your own, following known as Loyo. These opportunities allow for students to grow as individuals and help them learn skills and qualities that will benefit them in the future. My parents, thankfully, chose to bring me to South, realizing that because of South's diversity, I would grow as a person and it benefit my future. Our diversity will prepare all of us to interact with the changing world and help us flourish in the ever-changing society. We are Fargo South. Finally, South's strongest attribute we are unity. As I look amongst you today, we all have our own stories and our own lives. Nobody here is exactly the same. Me, for example, Brody Garcia Herrick, the redheaded Hispanic kid. It does not matter how I look or where my family is from. I am accepted for who I am by students and the faculty. We all have our own paths that have brought us here today. Some of us come from Liberia some from Minnesota, and some of us down the block at Lewis and Clark. We have learned from one another, laughed with one another, and probably at some point fought with one another. I say this because we truly have become a family, and I consider you all my brothers and sisters. Through these experiences, we've all grown together and built a bond with each other. We have built relationships with one another that will last a lifetime. We are Fargo South. Standing in front of you today, I stand as a classmate, I stand as a friend, or maybe I stand as someone you've never seen in your life. No matter the circumstance, I am truly honored to be sending you all off today. I couldn't ask for a better group of people to experience this milestone, so I want to say thank you and wish you all luck in your future endeavors. We are now part of the legacy of Fargo South. I would like to ask the three, three student section leaders to come on stage and lead the senior class on one last what's your number cheer. Thank you.
Everybody, please stand with me for the school song. Well, thank you, Brody. Well, I guess this is it. Class of 2019, after today, we will all take our own individual paths, but all will be connected by being Fargo South graduates. I hope from here, we continue to make a positive impact on our community and take the motto, strive for excellence with us. All the hard work you've done over the past 13 years is proof why you're here today. With that being said, I am beyond excited to officially say congratulations, wait for it, and hats off to the class of 2019.